Back for another Transformers review. And we're going to be doing today Generation 1 Deluxe Insecticon Shop Shop. Take a look at this guy. Look at this mode. It's some kind of creepy, monstrous stag beetle or beetle of some kind. But he's about as long as a Gen 1 Autobot car. Being a Deluxe Insecticon, he's a little bit larger than the normal ones. Of course, my sample here is a little bit beat up and lacking in the weaponry, but we're going to make do. Now, he has a die-cast metal main body here. At least that's what it feels like. And the paint is kind of coming off. But look at those jaws. I mean, he could just like crunch into Prowl or Sideswipe or any other Autobot car you get in there. I mean, he is really menacing. And of course, being a Gen 1 Transformer, he has a rub symbol located right back here on his butt or thorax or whatever it is. And you can rub it real good. We can see, maybe, that he is a Decepticon. But he's really cool. He's got good colors. Uh, well, orange and brownish. They're pretty cool, though. It fits him. But anyhow, to transform Chop Shop, what we're going to do is lift these panels in the back up, flip out his legs, flip out his feet here, turn them over, and we see we can actually hide these bottom insect legs inside these back panels by simply rotating them backwards. Uh, I don't know how simple it is, but I've done it. Let's try. Oh, okay. So we're going to rotate them inside of his leg, back of his leg here, like so. Kind of hide them. Now you can't really close these all the way. They just kind of flop around there. But at least as far as I know, I mean, there's no way to close them. But uh, it's all right. He's still cool. Anyhow, we get the rest of the transformation, pull out his arms, and then you get the head reveal. Now, being a robot that was originally not a Takara or Hasbro robot, he's a... I think he, he, he wasn't even a Diaclone. He came from the same company that did um, Jetfire, I believe. And uh, so, he's a little bit different, and his articulation is extremely limited. In this mode, I think you can really see his shortcomings, but you know, this is a pretty cool looking little form. Let's get you a good look at his face here. Pretty cool head skull. Very unique. But his articulation is basically just up and down arm movement. So, not too much there. But he is an okay little bot in my opinion. So, he won't cost you too much. He should cost you probably, uh, in this condition, no more than like six to eight dollars. I wouldn't pay any more than that. Uh, with his weapons complete, you should find him for around uh, you know, 40, 50, 60 bucks. Something like that. And It's really not a, not too bad a robot, but uh, he's a lot better insect. But anyhow, a sans review of this, in summary, is going to be, eh, he's okay. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you like. Let me know in the comments section what you think. Thanks, guys.